a champion. Do you say all those things? Your mommy says them with you every day, huh? We do. So just tell me something that you are. Um, and if you guys haven't practiced that with your kids yet, do that. I am fantastic. Karina, I love that one. I am fierce. Oh my gosh, you guys are powerful this morning. Keep giving me them. Um, and then I am loyal. God, these are so great. I love them. So you want to be using your IMs on a regular basis, but at least if you're not, then do them on Tuesdays with me. All right, you guys, next thing is this wonderful saying, and nay, this is from your father, by the way, from my father-in-law, and it's not, I mean, I think a lot of people say it, but I'd never heard it before this, but we would be like having a conversation, and casually, he'd be like, well, one in one hand, or he would just, just say that, and I was like, I don't, I don't get what that means. And then maybe he'd say, one in one hand, shit in the other, Quincy, don't listen to those bad words. I didn't say that. He's, he heard it. Don't worry, he doesn't talk yet. Um, and I still would be like, okay, one well, one hand shit in the other. Like, and then I'm picturing like, okay, so you have one hand and you have the other. Are you supposed to just like stare at your desires and your goals and your wants and you stare at the shit and like pick one? Because obviously I'm gonna stare at this one. Still didn't make sense to me. But you guys, the genius that I am, I went and I did some research or I could have thought about it just a little bit more to figure out what this means. So want in one hand, shit in the other. Mierda, we should just say that because Quincy won't know Spanish quite yet. Um, it, it's, you're looking at like all this last, what, this last month. I feel like actually we're talking about our goals a lot lately, right? You guys, we talk about going from here to here in our life. We were talking about taking baby steps yesterday. Um, we're talking about, you know, planning those goals. What do you see? My feet? Aren't they cool? And um, we talk about the vision often because I think it's so important. But here's the kicker to it. And this is where the saying comes in handy is you guys, you have all these wants, you have the goals, you have the other side, right? You're going from here to here. You have all of these things that you started to dream about. And that is amazing. And it's beautiful. And it's awesome. And you've got the want. But guess what? When you look in my hand, and you try to see like the actual tangible, what is the result of my want? What is, what is sitting there? I say I want to lose 50 pounds and I'm looking at that and there's, it's just a want, right? It's an, it's an intangible thing. And then in this hand over here, let's just take Quincy's diaper out and have a handful of shit, which by the way is a good possibility with this kid because he blows out his diaper all the time. I could have done a real visual here, but I decided not to. So you look at both hands and the rest of the saying is want in one hand, shit in the other. See which fills up quicker. Well, here's the thing, you guys. Poop is a tangible item. Poop is gonna, it's gonna fill. It's gonna, I mean, he diapers that baby up once and my whole hand's gonna be full. It's gonna be overflowing with shit. But on the other hand, my wants, if I'm not doing something to create a tangible result, my want, my wish, my goal, my vision, it's just sitting there. You guys, it's just sitting there. Just because we have all these conversations about figuring out what you wanna go after, if there's no direct action taken towards getting that, then that want hand is going to be as empty as you can, as, as it can be, right? And you're gonna be having this other side, which is just filling up with shit. And here's my thing, is that when I see this analogy and I see the other hand full of poo poo, I'm looking at the kind of the emotional result in your life of that. Meaning if you keep telling yourself that you want something over and over and over again, but you take no action to get it, it's frustrating. It's just shitty. It is because you're like, you, you're saying that you want something, but you're not taking action for it. And then you're disappointed and you're disappointed and you're disappointed and you're frustrated and you're aggravated. And then you get maybe a little bit, um, Frustrated at other people that are good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Cindy. Sorry, I just took out so much of this. I haven't been saying good morning. But um, you 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 get maybe a little bit like jealous or aggravated. Oh, well, she can have that and they can do that, and there's this. So now, like your the the shit in your life is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because that want hand is sitting there empty. So I took the analogy just one step further because once I figured out what it meant, and I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. It, it made sense to think about that you're you're left with this result of this kind of distaste in your mouth and frustration and aggravation. And the reason, what are you getting? The reason is, you guys, is because you're putting all this, like there, there's all this emotional desire to be in a space and you're not going after it. And I'm not saying you guys aren't going after it, right? But let's just say that you're not and you're left with that feeling of dissatisfaction 
It's filling you up with caca. And here's my solution for that, you guys. I think that there's two different things that you can do that so you don't end up sitting in a pile of caca at the end of the day, looking around thinking like, my want hand is surely empty, but boy, do I have a lot of crap going on in my life now. There's a lot of crap. So two options, okay? The first one, and I don't think the best one, but this is absolutely one, you guys, and I think that it should be considered if you've had that want hand empty day after day after day. Sarah, Cindy, Rachel, you guys, good morning. If, if there's a desire and you haven't gone after it and it's eating you up, maybe you need to reassess. Maybe you need to reassess. Do you actually want that? You say you want it. You say you do. But you, you, you haven't taken action. You haven't for the last month or two months or two years or five years or 10 years. And you're, you're beating yourself up about it. So maybe if that's not something you really want, you need to readdress your goals so that you don't have to be so angry about it all the time. You don't have to be so frustrated, right? Just where you can go. Where you can go, jumpy spice. This happens a lot. So this is why people are scared to hold my kid because he's a jumper. Um, you know, and, and take, take just a, an instant in your life. Like you say that you, you want to read a book every month. You want to read 12 books a year because you know it's going to make your mind better. You know you're going to be happier. You know it's a part of a great morning routine. That's great. But you haven't done it. You didn't do it last year. You didn't do it the year before. You didn't do it the year before. Are you beating yourself up about it? Are you frustrated about it? Because if you are, maybe you want to read two books a year. Change your mind. <laughs> Right? That could be that could be it. And I'm not I mean I'm not saying settle for mediocrity. There I am. I am a little bit. Like because now you're like, oh I had this vision and dream and goal, but I don't want to do it. So um but here's the deal, if you're not taking action, maybe you really don't want it. You say that you really, really, you know, I wanna lose those thirty pounds. I get messages all the time, you guys. I mean I got floods of messages last week about people wanting to start Project Me. Like I want, I'm ready. I want this change. It's time. I want, I want the first, the first moment they can find a reason not to do it. Oh, you know what? I can't like, that's, that's too expensive. I can't do it. And then I give them that. I give them a, a toe dipper package where it costs like nothing, yeah. like basically nothing. And if somebody still says they don't want to, I'm like, okay, so that was just an excuse that you really actually don't want to make a change. You don't want to get results. You don't want to lose the 30 pounds yet. And that's perfect. That's okay. This is where you are, but don't say that you do over and over again and beat yourself up about it. Okay, JC wants his brother now. You want your brother now? You want your brother now? Or he wants him, his bottle that's up there. Um, and then you don't have to have the other shit hand filling up so high because you're not disappointing yourself every single day. Now, here's the other side of it though. What if you really do want it? But Cal, I, well, like, let me give you another example because I don't want to just do book reading, um, weight loss. Let's just say um, more financial security in your life. Man, I want to make more money. I really want to make more money. I want to be able to afford my kids' gymnastics, my kids' soccer, all the stuff that's so ex expensive. And you say it over and over again, but you're not taking action to do anything. You're not looking for the second job. You're not looking for other opportunities. You're not trying to get the promotion or the raise. You're like, nope, this is where I'm stuck. Then maybe you really don't want to make extra money. And be okay with that. Then look, okay, at my... I, I earn X amount and I'm going to readjust my life on the other side so that I don't need more money. Like I, this is, this is going to be my solution to, to the lack of what I have in that area. Right? So there's one solution and I don't know, Jace, can you come bring me his bottle, babe, or come grab him? Yeah. Thank you, love. Um, th this is not like obviously my direct recommended suggestion, but I do think that we need to hear that because I do think that we need to realize that if we're not going to go after our goals, that shit hand is going to feel hot, like so high that you're going to be pissed off at everyone. I mean, you, you can get really angry at the world when you're, when you're, um, disappointing yourself on a daily basis. So maybe readjust, readjust. What do you, what do you actually want to do? And Let's take the other side. So that's solution number one. Solution number two, right, is taking action in your goals. It's, and I know we talked about baby steps yesterday, but if you say, like, have a talk with yourself today. Like, look in the mirror and think about, this is going to be your commitment, okay? Think about your top three goals in your life right now. Your top three goals in any arena. Maybe it's spiritual. Maybe it's to own a home. Maybe it's relational. Maybe it's your health. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's your success, your finances. Pick three things that you've said. If you can't do that, you guys pick one, right? Pick something, but I'm thinking if you can pick three things, these are things that I say that I want. 
I want to be extremely healthy and energetic and a role model in the health world. Um, I want to be a seven figure income earner annually. Um, and I want to be a, um, I, I don't know if I say like global leader, but I want to be a, a dominant leader in speaking arenas and I want to speak around the world. I love speaking. Like I love every time I get to be on stage. Those are three of my wants. All right. And then stop and take a look. Am I taking action in those arenas? Am I taking action to get better at each one of those things? And it can be a baby step like we talked about yesterday, right? Am I doing something each day so that I'm not filling up my shit hand? So I'm feeling a little bit better and I'm, I'm, I'm easing towards those results. And I can, I can directly look at myself and I can say yes, yes, and yes. And then I can list the actions that I'm taking to get towards those three goals that I have. And that's a conversation I need to have with myself daily, you guys, because if there's days and days that go by and I'm not taking action towards it, then it's time for me to reevaluate. Do I really want to be a seven income in earner? Do I really want to put in what it takes? Do I really want to speak um, internationally? Do I want to go on speaking engagements that much? Do I really want to um, be a leader in the health industry and in, in um, both my, my own physical condition? and helping with other people and, and evaluate because if I'm not doing something to do that then maybe maybe I want to become a professional crocheter I don't know I've never thought about it right maybe that would make me really really happy maybe I want to um, learn the words to every song that I've ever heard because I want to sing along like my good friend Candace when we go do paint and sip and it would just make me really happy it would be exciting right like it could be anything okay so um, today's lesson of want in one hand, shit in the other, see which fills up quicker. That's the entire saying. You have to say the whole thing. Good morning, Edna. I wish I would have seen you a couple weekends ago. Why did I miss you? Um, good morning, Katie. Good to see you tomorrow. So, so looking at that full saying, you guys, my encouragement for you today, and you guys get to commit to this. So at the end of our videos, we commit. So you're gonna like do your likes, your hearts, your loves at the end of the video. And if you wanna take action upon this video, then you're going to, and it doesn't take long, you guys, you're gonna stand in front of the mirror. I'm thankful for my disappointments. Look, that's a good one, right? Because we learn from those things, Melissa. Um, you're gonna stand in front of the mirror and you're going to think of and confront yourself about one to three goals that you want, not even goals, you guys, wants. Things that you found yourself saying you want. I want a happier marriage. I want um, more time freedom. I want to travel more. Three, a couple things, okay? And then ask yourself, am I doing anything, anything to get towards those things? Say yes or no. Okay, and if it's yes, perfect, then maybe you want to think of some others, right? If it's no, though, then it's time to have a conversation with yourself. If it's no, do you really want those? Because maybe it's time to reevaluate, reassess, and choose some other things that you would like to pursue so that you're not filling up with shit on the other side. Or, will you even give me kisses? It's time to start taking action. Okay? So, oh, you were chasing Zeke. I you so dang cute. Um, you guys, so that's all I have for you today. Say good morning, sunshines. Let me know if you're committed. And that's, um, I'm, I'm committed to addressing my shit or I'm committed to addressing my wants. Either one, it's going to be the same thing that you're doing, right, on either side. So tell me if you're committed, you guys. Watching these videos is one thing. I love it. I love that you guys are here and I love that you guys are sharing. Um, discussing and doing, taking action from it afterwards is going to help with that progression from here to here in your life. So let me know if you're committed. Love all your beautiful faces. Quincy, say thank you so much for joining me. Jill, you just joined and I'm leaving. Tell her. Okay. I am addressing, committed to addressing my mom. See, that's good. Okay, you press end of video and you say, bye friends, bye friends. No, no, right here. Gotta get right there. Okay, ready, go. Oh, you're not very good at it. All right, love you guys. <laughs> bye.